Dragon SpaceX vent complete. Valve open. Get a good seal of that. Can you command open forward hatch? This is gonna stall it open. Block. And at the bottom of the mobility is progressing. I have a feeling the crowd is about to go wild. Good call. <laughs> Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. Up, down, left, and right are threes, maybe a two. Pitch is a four. Roll is a two, yaw is a two. So these are the suit mobility checks that Jared is performing. Single-handed operations, dynamic and with disturbance are all adequate. Test matrix one complete. HUD check, 5.3 PSI, 48% RH, 33 decimal nine Celsius. SpaceX copies, test matrix one and HUD readout. Right, so. TV1, we're checking out your helmet cam now. I mean, I said it before, a lot of us wear characters, we want to do this. All right, stepping into test matrix one for single-handed mobility. Really cool to see one of our own out there. That's awesome. And EV2 for awareness, we're watching from the nose cone. So what we have here is the first spacewalk by humans, which is not going to be conducted by professional astronauts. It's a private company sending people into space. They are all very well trained. They are all very much their own experts, but we've never before had these non-professionals, not full-time astronauts actually exit the vehicle and go out for a spacewalk. Godspeed inspiration four. Copy one alpha. Indicate nominal. The spark mission flame, the inspiration. All right, that's been worked. All right, let me go get it. This is a major step forward in terms of space travel for humans. It also brings with it incredible risks because a lot of the technology is new. A lot of it has not been fully tested in outer space. It's people with a very different background and very different training from what has happened before in terms of professional astronauts. So it's always this balance between risk and reward. This is very much an experimentation. It's really trying to push the frontiers of commercial space travel and space tourism. So they do have some scientific aspects, particularly regarding the space travel, but fundamentally what they're doing is having a bit of fun. It's for a human being to experience what so few would ever have the chance of doing. And they are paying for it because it's phenomenally expensive.
Dragon SpaceX vent complete. EV-1 return to seat. And EV-1 copy, transitioning back under the display. So again, one of the reasons we had Jared do that was to... Dragon SpaceX, Rex, copy test matrix three. you can three. see, top of the mobility aid. And uh, let's get a quick crew off the track. EV-1's good. EV-2's good. I'm good. Plus he's good. Copy that. Okay, uh, max reach, whether it's left or right hand, seems to be about the same. Top of the mobility aid, and then the mid row. Copy, we see it. Checking up from the bottom. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Thumbs up from the pilot on the left side there. Max Q. We're throttled back throttle up it. to power. One Bravo. And we heard the call out, one Bravo. Copy, one Bravo. Impact chill is underway. The announcement lets us know we've begun the final chill of the second stage engine in preparation for its activity coming up at about T plus two minutes and 40 seconds. NASA astronaut Steve Bowen is at the work site. He is closing up some MLI or multi-layer insulation. Copy Steve, that looks pretty good. Corner. 